Peacock feathers lay strewn about the yard, fine long feathers in a colourful mess. Along came a jay, a silly young jay, rather vain so he was, and eager to impress. Saw the feathers scattered on the ground, thought to himself, what treasure I have found. Yes, what a grand new set of clothes I have found. Oh, how fine these feathers are. What a fine bird I'd be wearing feathers such as these. What is to stop me putting them on? What is to stop me dressing as I please? And he put those feathers on his tail, so he did. And he put those feathers on his tail. Oh, how fine these feathers are. Look at me, look at me. I'm the prince of the yard. Quite the handsome bird about the farm. Adorned so finely for my noon promenade. Peacocks gathered and they watched the silly jay as he strutted through the yard. Quite a dandy, so he thought. But the peacocks were not at all impressed. No, they went. He may sport their feathers, but he wasn't their sort. They pecked at the feathers. Sticking from the jay, stripped him of the feathers, and tossed them all away. Pulled the feathers out they did, and threw them all away. Oh, how mean you peacocks are, robbing me, robbing me of some harmless livery. Quite the selfish birds you be. The peacocks replied with a stern homily. Don't try to be what you're not, little bird. You're a jay, and it's right that you stay that way. Don't try to be what you're not, little bird, said the peacocks and strutted away. The jay, he was ever so distraught, so he was, and he patted back over to the other jays and doors. But they too were reproachful, and they too were unimpressed, and they didn't have much sympathy, they didn't back his cause. Instead, they scoffed at his short-lived display, and joined as one in upbraiding the jay. Altogether crossly they upbraided the poor jay. Don't try to be what you're not, little bird. You're a jay, and it's right that you stay that way. Don't try to be what you're not, little bird. And with that they left the poor jay.